Hey everybody. Today we're using R to calculate in the normal distribution. There are four basic functions that you're going to want to know. First off is R norm, and this is used to generate random values in a specified normal distribution. In particular, we can specify the mean and standard deviation. If we leave out either one of those parameters, R will default to natural values, mu equals zero and sigma equals one. So basically it favors the standard normal distribution. Here, for instance, I've generated a thousand random values from that standard normal distribution with R norm, R norm of a thousand, and then gotten a rough plot with those with the qplot command in the ggplot2 package. The next function that we should talk about is pnorm, and this is the CDF, the cumulative distribution function of the normal distribution with the specified parameters. Again, if you leave out mu or sigma, R will default to mu equals zero and sigma equals one. Um, this is going to return the probability of randomly getting a value less than or equal to x in that specified normal distribution. I think a picture makes that much more clear. We specify the x value, r takes the shaded area here, the region to the left of that x value underneath that bell curve. As usual in r, x can be a vector, so for instance, p norm 12 colon 16 comma 14 comma 0.8 is going to look in the normal distribution with mean 14 and standard deviation 0.8 and give back the probability of randomly getting a value less than or equal to 12, less than or equal to 13, 14, 15, and 16 respectively. Q norm is the inverse of that function. So instead of taking an x value and giving back a probability, it's going to take a probability and give back an x value. The picture is exactly the same as before, but now the input and output are reversed. Here we feed Q norm the shaded area, P, and it gives back the value on the x-axis. Once again, the inputs can be a vector. So for instance, Q norm of 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, comma 14, comma 0.8 gives back the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentiles of that normal distribution. Finally is D norm. This is the probability density function. This one is um, mostly of theoretical interest and doesn't really get used too much in R unless you need to draw a bell curve. I have a whole video, by the way, on the geom function command in ggplot. I'll throw a link up top if you're interested in exploring that a little bit more. Okay, let's do a few examples. Suppose that flipper lengths of a certain kind of penguin are normally distributed with mean 192.9 and standard deviation 7.1 millimeters. First off, what's the probability of randomly selecting a penguin with flipper length less than 200 millimeters? So let's flip over to R and take care of this. Since we're given a flipper length and we need a probability in the normal distribution, we're going to need a p norm command here. That's our main, our workhorse probability function. So p norm, first of all, we feed it the value we're interested in, 200, then the mean, 192.9 and then the standard deviation, 7.1. Remember that p-norm wants a standard deviation, not a variance, so you always have to read your problem carefully to make sure that's what you're actually being given. Of course, standard deviation is just the square root of variance, so it's not too hard to translate back and forth. Here we get about 84%. To get the probability of randomly getting a penguin with a flipper longer than 200 millimeters, we can subtract from one. These are complementary probabilities. So I'm just gonna go with the up arrow and then one minus that same p-norm. So just under 16%. What's the 90th percentile for flipper lengths in these penguins? Here we're being, being given a percentile, a probability, an area, and we wanna get back a flipper length, essentially an x value. So this is a q-norm problem. So q-norm, first we feed it the percentile that we're given. Notice that I'm writing that as a decimal, so it's 0.90 rather than 90. And then those same parameters, 192.9 comma 7.1, 7.1, not 0.71. So about 202 millimeters. So that makes sense given that the mean is 192.9 and the standard deviation is 7.1. Finally, let's simulate 500 random selections from this population and plot the results. We'll do it as a histogram. So first off, let's get those random values. We'll save uh, this vector as flippers. Since we're trying to generate random values, it's R norm. And the first argument here is the number of values we want, 500 random values. 
And once again, we've got to put in the parameters, same parameters as before. So up here in the environment tab, you can see that I now have a vector of length 500 with random values that are all going to be kind of close to 193. Let's plot these. I'm going to use the qplot command in ggplot2. Just out of habit, I'm going to load up all of tidyverse. That includes ggplot2. And since I'm just wanting a histogram of this single vector, I'm going to use the qplot command. ggplot would be a bit, uh, a bit overpowered for this. So I just want to plot flippers. And let's, let's go ahead and put some boundary color on the bars with color equals I parenthesis quote black. I think I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so right there already is a pretty reasonable histogram of those 500 randomly generated values from the normal distribution with mean 192.9 and standard deviation 7.1.